So we're building to the biggest event in DC history. Like it is the one that reshaped <laughs> everything 30 years ago. How much of a buildup are we going to see in the first half of the season to Crisis? Um, I think you know we had a cliffhanger with uh, the monitor last season, so it'll it'll play a part in our first half of the season, and we're very excited when Crisis does arrive. This, now this season is first sort of controlling the season, fighting the season. This is our second season with full control. Yeah. Okay. So, what is the thrust then of this year? In terms of well, Robert and I took over fully creatively for season four, and so what we feel passionately about is reflecting, telling stories that reflect what's going on in the real larger world. This year, the subject we are tackling is technology and how technology changes the fabric of what it means to be human with our addictions, all of our addictions to our devices, and um, how people have stopped engaging with one another because we're so in our technology. Yeah, we're introducing two new characters at CatCo. Uh, one is uh, uh, Andrea Rojas, who's played by Julie Gonzalo, and we're excited about that. She's going to take over CatCo and uh, shake things up. Uh, she has a different vision for it than uh, Cat did, uh, so it's going to make uh, Cara question whether she wants to work there. And we also have another uh, reporter, disciple of hers, uh, William Day, coming in, played by Staz Nair, and uh, he's a foil for Cara as well. Have you guys put any? Oh, Say that again. Uh, there's action in the first scene, um, but you know we we come in hot with Lena's uh, emotional reaction to what she learned at the end of last season about Kara and how she's going to cope with that. Do you guys have any plans uh, coming together for the 100th episode? Yeah, we're planning something special, uh, but beyond that, I can't. <laughs> it's so, all musical episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, last year, you guys introduced a trans character. Yes. Uh, it was really important to me. It's the first time I've seen myself as a superhero. Um, how does it feel to be on the forefront of that movement and that representation for people? It means so much to us. It means so much to me to hear you say that. We love the character of Nia so much. We are so lucky that we found Nicole, who is not only a gorgeous actress, but a gorgeous human being. And it, it was one of the most meaningful things of last season to us. Me too. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Can you tease anything more about Leviathan? Um, not that much more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were behind Leviathan the is coming! Yes. <laughs> Do you find the genres, this show, this genre, it's a very genre, the sci-fi genre, was particularly good at the first thing dealing with technology last year is, is uh, the whole alien thing. Is it a good prison in which we can head on and handle things in a lot of things we couldn't? It's the best to tell allegorical stories. Um, you know, that I, I think it's also a way to reach younger audiences who really couldn't grapple with the news of last year straight on, but can understand it emotionally through these characters, and it's, it's wonderful.